Hey, this is Johnny. I'm checking out the new wireless microphone system by Sony. And I'll tell you, I'm pretty excited about this because it's the first time that it's kind of like in that uh, price range where it's not too expensive, but it's a digital hybrid. So for many years, I've used other stuff. I've actually used these and had good results with it. But uh, this actually I haven't used. I used their, I guess, the one that was, came before it. The UW Series. Yeah. UWP. So go ahead and tell me all about this and why I love it so much. I'll tell you. But here we go. Sure. Well, this is our UWP D Series product that we're just introducing, and it's replacing our previous UWP generation of products. Uh, this is using, as you said, digital hybrid technology, so it has a DSP located in both the transmitter and the receiver that it used for digital processing for companding. So it's using conventional FM modulation, just like an analog wireless system, but having the benefits of using DSP and improving sound quality. The other great thing about it is that it has 72 megahertz of bandwidth to it. So our previous products had 24 megahertz of bandwidth. This triples the overall number of RF frequencies that are available to select from. Well, I'm gonna tell you some of the features that I like about it already from using this Sony, or not this one, but the one that came before it. Um, it's got an output as well as a phone, which is fantastic because some of the other products that are out there don't have that. This is great for me if you're using a DSLR camera or anything, even a, you know, a professional RED camera and you're doing some feature film. The point is, you've got both output and the phones. Something that it didn't have before that I just noticed, which I'm kind of excited about, is these bottom USB connectors. I mean, tell me a little bit about that because I'm kind of going, Wow, I still love the ruggability of it. I love the fact that you can put the batteries in and they're gonna fall out, it's easy, but it feels expensive. Tell me a little bit about that USB. Sure, the USB port has several purposes. I mean, one is that allows us to apply firmware updates on the unit. And in addition to that, it allows for USB powering. So I can take a USB power device, maybe it's a lithium ion battery that can be externally recharged, you can use that as a power source. So if you needed to have a wireless system that runs all day on batteries, you can power it with an external USB power source. Also, if you'd like, you can use nickel metal hydride rechargeable AA batteries in the unit and then recharge them through a USB charger without having to take the batteries out of the unit. Wait, 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 hold on a second, okay? Let me get this straight because a lot of companies will come out with stuff and it's their rechargeable batteries. No, these are double-A nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries made by any company who makes double-A batteries that are rechargeable. And you can use commonly available USB charger peripherals to charge them without having to remove them from the receiver or the transmitter. The other thing that's neat is, of course, so commonly people want to look at how they're going to power the receiver, but the same rules apply to the transmitter. A lot of times people might be using a wireless system such that they're installing both the transmitter and the receiver in kind of a fixed installation or semi-fixed installation where being able to AC power both of those units and run them indefinitely is, is definitely a good option to have. All I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you. See, what people don't understand is the time that you just saved me, okay? I already, before I've even tried this project, because I tried the one that came before this, I'm already going to go buy one of these, like, now. I'm not, I'm not going to wait. No, I'm not even kidding. I was talking to, you know, your representative over there, and I'm like, give me your card. I'm going to go find out who's selling it first. Go buy one. Because by buying this product, I'm telling you right now, it's already saving me time. And when I say that, is one of the biggest things, that unless you get like some of these models, they, you know, other companies, they make it where you can recharge it, but I can't use my batteries that I already have, which I have a lot of AA rechargeables. Two things that it's gonna save me, and I'm gonna explain that really quick so everybody can hear it out there. When I say it's saving me time, it's just the fact that I don't have to use another company, you know, I can use any, any rechargeable batteries, but not only that is I can plug it right in and charge it. So the end of the day, when I come home, I don't have to pull the batteries out. I don't have to like stick them on the charger and forget that they're on there because I had a 20 hour day. I can easily put it on there and it can be charging. Also, what if I'm filming, which I just did, a feature film out in the Mojave Desert and I'm away from a power source and I run out of my AA rechargeable batteries and my batteries that I'm using, but I have a USB thing and I got 
Yeah. All of those options are there. It gives you good flexibility. You can power it up any way you need to be able to. Yeah. What I love about options is you don't think that they're important because you don't use them until you need them. So thank you very much for coming out with a great product. And I'm going to go buy this one right away. And that's not just lip service. So check it out. And where's the best website or, you know, it's Sony.com, all that stuff? Sure. So if you're interested in more information about the UWP D series, new product, or any of our other Sony professional audio products, take a visit to Sony.com slash Pro Audio. Thanks. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for coming out with a good product. <laughs>